Carousel Learning is designed with two main aims. First, to improve student outcomes via retrieval practice, and second, to reduce teacher workload. In this short video, I'm going to show you how I use Carousel in the classroom, so you can see how it can help you teach smarter and your students learn better. It's Monday morning, my students are coming into the class, and this is what they see on the board, a Carousel whiteboard quiz. It's a fantastic way to settle them, to set the tone for learning, to do quality retrieval practice, but also to assess and diagnose any potential misconceptions or knowledge gaps they might have in advance of my lesson. I can also set my students a quiz. They log in using just their name, there are no passwords, but before they do the quiz, I expect them to use the flashcards to help them revise. They work their way through the deck and they judge for themselves how well they know the content. When students are ready, they take the quiz. If it's a free text quiz, they type their answer in the box and when they're done, they're ready to mark. First, the computer marks anything that is obviously right or obviously wrong. And then it's over to the student. They get shown the model answer and they get shown what they wrote and they're invited to self-reflect and assess whether or not they got it right. When students have finished the quiz, I can moderate their work. So I open up the quiz and I can see question by question what every single student has written. I have the opportunity to change their answers from correct to incorrect or vice versa if I need to. But I also have the option to look at certain answers and say, well, you know what, actually, I think that's quite interesting. That has a misconception or a common error that I want to talk about. And I can put a little tick next to it and I can come back to that later and deliver class feedback. It's incredibly easy for me to analyze data. I can look at one quiz and I can say, right, well, how did these students do in this quiz? Question one, question two, question three, etc. Or I can be more strategic. And if I open up Carousel's analysis tab, I can say, how have these students or have this class or how's this year group done in their quizzes over time? Quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, quiz four, etc. Now you may be wondering, where do these questions come from? They come from something called a question bank. And a question bank is the beating heart of Carousel. You take your curriculum and you turn it into a series of questions and answers. They're highly specific, they're granular, they're well sequenced, and they're designed to be optimal for your students to be able to learn them. You can either make them yourself or you can head off into the community. And in the community, you can find one from the thousands of teachers uh, across the world who have shared their question banks, or you can take one that's been quality assured by us, or you can take one that's been provided by our content partners like John Cat Education, by Springboard Science or the Primary Knowledge Curriculum. You can take those, you can edit them, you can make them your own. But the main point here is that whatever it is you want, whatever it is you teach, we've got content to help. It's worth noting that question banks can be multiple choice enabled. So you can take your question bank, write options A, B, C, or D, and then when you set a quiz or a whiteboard quiz for your students, you can choose for it to be free text response or multiple choice. One of the most amazing features about Carousel is how it collects data on student performance. As soon as your students start quizzing, Carousel knows how well they've done on each question. It knows how many times they've seen each question, and it knows when the last time they saw each question was. It takes all of that information and it turns it into something called a C-score, which tells you as the teacher what's the right question to pick for my students right now. Carousel also has something called a study pack, which is where you take your question bank and instead of you setting quizzes, you just give it to the students. And the students are then able to freely revise from it and to, to dictate their own path and to say, no, I want to do flashcards on this topic and I want to do a quiz on that topic. And it's an amazing way uh, for them to kind of have some autonomy over their own work. So Carousel boosts student outcomes by getting them lots of questions lots of times via the flashcards, via the quiz, via the whiteboard, via the feedback, via the study packs, we're giving students tons of questions, tons of times. But we know that we're not just giving them any questions. Because we're using our question banks and because we're using C-scores, we know that they're the right questions and we're giving them to the students at the right time. Carousel will also reduce your workloads because all of these things are very quick and very easy to do, to set up and to run. Because Carousel is working in the background and collecting all of that data, it's giving you such powerful information about your students' next steps without driving your workload. 